Okay, I think that's a very important question because we often do not recognize this patient and identify them with a high risk, either of thromboembolic uh, events or of bleeding risk. So we need to do uh, the risk scores and use them like the Chatswa score, which is recommended by the ESC to identify the high risk, but patients for thromboembolic risk, but also the health blood score um, to identify the patient of high bleeding risk. That's the even more difficult part of it. Um, often these patients have both high bleeding risk, high thromboembolic risk, and we have to find the reversible risk factors, so the factors which we can change. These are typically a blood pressure which is not well controlled. This is an INR values which are not well controlled, so they are very often outside of the therapeutic range. Um, so these two things we can change. And the third thing which is very common is a concomitant therapy, for example, with aspirin, which is usually not necessary and which we can take away and it's still fine, so the patient is protected, but we have a lower bleeding risk.